This is futurist Gerd Leonard, who's doing our closing keynote speech at this year's Bristol Technology Showcase. Gerd, so it's great to have you here today, and uh, really looking forward to having you at this year's Tech Showcase. It'll be fun. Yeah, I actually flew the Concord once. Did you? Inside. You did? <laughs> yes. Great. Mm -hmm. Where did you fly? Uh, London, Paris. Uh, London, uh, New York. Great. Well, that, uh, so, uh, that's got... right before it was decommissioned, and it wasn't very comfortable, but it was, <laughs> but it was an interesting ride. So, okay, piece well, of history. You, you're going to get to see her again this year, and okay. she looks absolutely fabulous in the venue. Okay. So, um, okay, good. So, look, you, you've been around the world. You've been to many countries, seen many cultures, and spoken at many keynotes across across the globe. Um, what are some of the key things that you're looking forward to conveying this year at the Bristol Technology Showcase? Yeah, I think it's quite clear that technology is a main driver of change in our society. Yeah, it is in many ways amazingly positive, and, but also scary for a lot of people. Yeah. So I'm looking to convey the message that technology is a good thing, it's a, it's a force of a positive thing, but we also have to make sure that it remains a good thing, because there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. Mm -hmm. yeah? So, And this is particularly in the UK, I think, the discussion about the benefits of technology, control and technology, because in 10 years, our world is going to be so vastly different. In 20 years, I think we're going to be more ahead than the last 300 years. Yeah? Yeah. Quantum computing, uh, 3D com computing, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, uh, lab-grown meat, and the story goes on. It's like, it sounds like science fiction. But in 20 years, we're going to be in such a different place. So we have to think about what we want, how we want it, and how, how we can implement it.